Pesce was the first person to really celebrate and acknowledge the open office plan. As an architect and someone who has to draw, I looked around and there were all these drawings. I said, you know, look at all these drawings. Maybe we could do something called Gaetano Unframed because he doesn't like to frame his drawings and it had a lot of meaning. So he said, that's a cool idea. He had one prerequisite. He said, you have to wrap them in plastic and tape them in black electrical tape. This, ironically, is his big foot. This is one of his first things he ever did, and it was for B&B Italia, and it was in red. So they made it in black, and they thought they were gonna sell any, but every shoemaker in Italy has it in their shoemaker store now. So his love of his Italian culture is another thing that takes him to his roots, despite his New York uh, relationship. And he loves spaghetti and he loves fish, so he makes a lot of fish things, and a lot of, this basket is so beautiful, and it's out of that resin, which is a material he really invented solely himself in the 80s. And he started to did nine versions of resin till it got to the right combination of uh, elasticity and strength, hence giving name to the Pratt chair. So it was that evolution of the process of, of, of asking the material what, what it wants to be, discovering the material, and then generating a whole vocabulary out of something that hadn't really been done before. So he saw the future with his love of humanity and of nature, and you can see things growing and being part of the urban fabric were so much a part of his. But then you go back to his ice cream cone as a person, it goes back to the child in him as well. What, what I'd like to share with you is the beautiful transition from an original sketch to the resin exploration of the bookshelf with his profile, the person, to the small model, the maquette, and to the built product, which is here.